Hey guys, Mars Hengen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so the other day I did a video talking about the releases that will be coming up on Global between now and the anniversary and I have had a few people ask me, I did mention in that video that I would try and do a breakdown of how many stones you are going to be able to get between now and the anniversary completely for free so obviously we're not going to include any of the ones that you buy from the shop from the sales from like the uh kai like link leveling keys because those come with stones um these are only going to be breaking down the stones that you get from missions and events that take place during the campaigns that are going to release between now and the anniversary now obviously there's a minor disclaimer like this information is being gathered from the wiki um, and with the way the gap is going to be between now and the anniversary we're essentially stitching together two celebrations so this is the uh, super training campaign from jp that saw the release of super 17 now this campaign obviously has a bunch of stuff in it we're going to go through these but obviously these numbers for the stones we're going to assume that we are getting all of this same content um, and then obviously the part two that comes after this there was no part two of this super 17 celebration because then this moved directly into saiyan day so obviously there was no part two and then the stuff that came out uh, that's going to come out after super 17 for global which is the lr super boo was part two of the kale celebration on jp which for some reason on the wiki doesn't actually even have its own campaign page so <laughs> we're going to go through the information on here but bear in mind that this is based solely on gathering this information from the wiki like if they give us certain events but not other ones then obviously these numbers would change they could possibly give us some extra thing as well that we didn't get on jp which obviously will throw off the numbers a little bit so don't take this uh, final number at the end to be 100 percent gospel of everything that we are going to get but i'll go through the different events and break down uh, what it is going to look like Okay, so straight away we start off with uh, the login bonus. Uh, this will obviously be random items and stuff throughout the celebration. Um, what I've done for this is I've just marked this down as 30 because most of the daily logins when you've done your things, you're going to get a stone, right? And whilst this particular part of the celebration doesn't last for a full 30 days, once this celebration does start, we are basically a month away from the beginning of the celebration, right? So uh whilst it's not uh the start of the anniversary i should say so whilst we're not getting 30 stones specifically from this um obviously this is just you know from doing your daily logins doing the daily missions you're gonna get these things right and in terms of the daily missions themselves uh there's always at least one stone available from daily missions usually just for like being three events a day or something like that right so i've accounted for 30 for that as well so login bonus and daily missions is 60 obviously if we do end up getting like an extra daily mission that gives an extra stone that would be another 30 right there as long as it lasts between the start of this uh, filler gap celebration and then when the anniversary starts but a bare minimum it is going to be 60 okay so then we go down we have the dokon festival obviously <laughs> this like i'm gonna make a video about the banner when we get closer to its release date but i feel like this is such an easy skip for most people but obviously you don't get any stones from this uh quite the opposite so then we have the release of the new super 17 event to actually awaken the new unit it is a new stage added to the existing event uh, it does have two difficulties so obviously that will give you two stones um but that's all there is to get from that i mean might as well farm up the medals right in case you do pull him in the future even if you're not going to summon or even for the side banner unit who obviously goes into every banner after that but might as well beat the stages nowadays obviously with the uh update that was quite a while ago now you don't have to beat both the stages individually you'll just get both the stones for beating the stage on the hardest difficulty so then we have the sales which obviously we're not going to count same with the keys uh, then we have free to play extreme z area for the physical goten trunks and marin and then the universe 11 pride troopers uh, casserole uh, this extreme z area has two stages for both characters so it'll be one stone for each stage and then you can see from the missions uh, you get a stone as a mission reward 
before beating the stage a certain number of times, right? So that would be six stones in total. Then we have a battlefield reset. So battlefield, when you go through for the first time, you obviously get stones as you go through a certain number of the stages. By beating all of the stages for the first time, you get a nice big chunk as well. Um, the way I added this up, I may have missed one, but just by going what's listed on here, one or two anyway, the, uh, this lists as 21 stones from a full reset. I don't know why, I feel like it is higher than that from past experience, but based on what's catalogued on the wiki for all the missions, it is 21. Um, so then this campaign also had a new Petan battle. We had one of these recently on Global, um, but it did not introduce a new set of stickers. Uh, it was just series 10 again, I believe, which fortunately I managed to finish on this most recent one. Um, so a new Petan battle releasing. If we take a look at Petan battle, just by doing one like Petan battle fight, you get one stone. And then by collecting the cards or the stickers, you get extra stones. Now, this does mean there is a potential for 11 stones from Petan battle, but that would require you to get all of the stickers from the new set. Right, if you only get like 12, you're going to get these two stones for getting 10, but then you're not even going to get the ones for 20, let alone the ones for all of them. So depending on how much you actually do the Petan battle, and then of course it is RNG related to actually get the stickers, will depend on how many stones you get out of it. But the maximum you can get is 11. Okay, so then we add two new missions for the Legendary Goku event tied to the release of the 17s. Uh, you can see they are the only missions that are not available on Global currently, which is Joined Forces and Inhuman Deeds. So both of these missions give you five stones, so obviously that makes ten in total. Um, you know, if for some reason you've never beaten the Legendary Goku event before, you would get extra ones, but I'm assuming most people have done that by now. So just by doing the two missions, that is ten stones. So then we scroll down here, a bunch of returning story events. Obviously, this is all based on the assumption that any events that are returning, you have done already. So if you haven't done any of these, then obviously you will be getting extra stones by beating these for the first time. Uh, returning Extreme Z areas, again, this is assuming that you have done those. Um, otherwise, this will be extra stones. Then we have the Extreme Z battle for the physical Android 17. So obviously you get a stone each stage all the way up to 30, and then you get uh, four from missions that you can see here. So in total for the 17 Extreme Z battle, you would get 34 stones um, as long as you complete these missions, which I mean, even the level 21, right? You just need a Universe Survival Saga character, which you're gonna be using anyway, right? So the missions are not particularly difficult to do. Um, then we have a new stage of Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, I believe this will be uh, in Human Deeds because, again, it ties in with the release of the 17s. Uh, for ESBR, you get a stone for beating the stage for the first time like you do with any other event. But then you get, for the actual mission reward, I think it's, it's seven stones for ESBR, five stones for normal SBR. So that would be eight stones from them adding a new... Super Battle Road stage, and then we have the Extreme Z Awakening for LR Prime Battle Cell and his Legendary Campaign. So this one is obviously going to depend on whether you've actually done the unit or whether you do it during the campaign itself, which you obviously should, right, even if it's just for the sake of the rewards. But as you can see here, um, if you have Cell already as an LR, before the Legendary Campaign begins, you get 10 stones. So if you haven't done that, you obviously should try and do that, right? Ten stones, you don't want those just left on the table. Uh, and then by having LR Cell when the campaign actually starts, you then get 20 stones. So in total, if you're somebody who does already have physical uh, Prime Battle LR Cell, uh, you will get 30 stones from that. So that is everything in part one which is the um, super the release of the STR-17s that fuse into Super-17. But then we have the problem I was talking about at the beginning, where there is no entry for Part 2. So this is the celebration on JP where Kale released. And as we go down through her content, obviously this is still all going to be tied to Kale. Maybe the new quest stages will come earlier for Global, uh, which would be good for a few extra stones. Then we had the April Fool's Day stuff. Um, and then, yeah, the EZA for the uh, LR Kale and Khalifla. But this is all part of the Kale, like, part one celebration. And then there's nothing listed about the release of Super Boo. So if we look at the actual timeline, 
you can see here, here's where we had the April Fools, the EZA, the World Tournament, and then LR Superboo came out. So the only other things listed on the wiki here is we had a two sub EZAs. Now remember, a new LR coming out, he just uses medals from already existing events. So you're not getting any extra stones from that. And then the two EZAs for the AGL Super Saiyan Gotenks and the STR Base Form Gotenks, these are sub EZAs. So you have to replay an older EZA to get the medals. So you don't get any stones from doing that either. Um, then we had a burst mode that was related to Gotenks. I'm assuming we will get this all like packaged together because there was no burst mode in the part one. Uh, burst mode, when you look at the missions, um, obviously the missions are for using an Android team, a time limit team, um, and then for getting a certain score all the way up to, I think 5,500 is the last one that gives you a stone. If you do all of these missions for the score for stones, uh, you get nine stones in total from burst mode. Um, and then as you can see, there was another extreme Super Battle Road stage that came out. So hopefully we will get this as well. Uh, this was the Earthlings stage which doesn't really tie in very well with the part two of the celebration. But maybe it'll be the special pose and they'll release in different orders because obviously all this Gotenks related stuff is coming out at this time. But either way, if another ESBR stage comes out, then that is the same as the previous one uh, that we already talked about, which will be eight stones. One for beating the stage, seven for clearing the mission. So going down the list that I have written down here, and hopefully I didn't miss any, uh, someone who's followed along with the video can let me know down below if I've somehow made an error here. Um, but if we start from the very beginning of what I've listed, we have 30 from the login bonuses, 30 from the daily missions, 2 from the new stage to awaken uh, Super 17, 6 from the free-to-play Extreme Z area, 21 from a Battlefield reset, 11 from a new set of Petan Battle, 10 stones for two new missions for the Legendary Goku event, 8 for a new Extreme Super Battle Road stage, 34 from the Extreme Z battle for Physical 17, 30 for LR Prime Battle Cell and his Prime Battle campaign, 9 from the Burst Mode for Gotenks, and then another 8 from another Extreme Super Battle Road. So in total, that adds up to 199 stones. Um, it's funny because for me, I have been a pay to play player for a very, very long time. Um, and unless I'm missing something, like obviously this is a very sort of dry filler celebration, but man, that does not feel like a lot of stones between now and the anniversary, right? Obviously, there's a couple of days left on this celebration, so you're going to be getting a couple more stones from daily logins and stuff like that. But 200 stones, roughly, 199 is all you can look forward to for free during this time between now and the anniversary. Although the other thing that we did get, of course, that we are still collecting is part of the countdown to the anniversary, those medals that will be able to be exchanged for Dragonstones. I actually can't remember what the total... Let me double check that. Okay, so this is the page from the news update for the uh, countdown to the anniversary. So, complete the missions each week to get 10 growth badge 2 per week. A total of 60 can be obtained if you complete all missions during the event period. And then it says one growth badge 2 can be exchanged for one dragon stone. So, that would mean if you get all of these, it would be 60 that you can get at the start of the anniversary. So, then we'd be looking at 260. And the anniversary itself does give out quite a lot of stones as well, but most of those are during the course of the uh, celebration. And I know a lot of people want to know how many stones they can get right for when it starts, because those are the ones you're going to be using to summon on the banners that the day they come out. I was very confused when I read this the first time though, because it says one badge can be exchanged for one stone, four badges can be used for one Kai. Like, I, I mean, I guess if you're really down bad for Kai's, you'd consider it. But I would rather have four stones than one Elder Kai, like, any time. Which, that seems very odd to me. But that would be another 60 available from this, which would bring the total up to 259. So, not a huge amount, but, you know, like I said at the beginning, this isn't a perfect accounting. Some events we might not get. We might get some extra events. 
Like I said, we might get extra daily missions that would bump it up easily by another 30. It just all depends what we are actually going to get. But we are going to be looking at, as long as you do these uh, Masters missions, the uh, Rapid Growth missions, you're going to be looking at at least 250. So try and make sure you stay on top of doing all of these things that we've mentioned. If you haven't done Prime Battle LR Cell, make sure you've done him. And uh, let me know down below, how many stones do you have right now? Are you free to play? Will you be buying sales for the anniversary? Let me know down below how hard you are going to go for the anniversary. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.